We're here with Jeff, the MC for Not Scary Farm. You must love your job. I love it. Are you? Does it show? Uh, a tiny bit. I like to get up there and just ramble on about Scary Farm. I, we, if, if, if we didn't have to end it at some point, I'd still be up there. <laughs> Absolutely. So why do people need to come to Not Scary Farm, aside from all the other competition you have? Oh, it's the best value. There's more mazes, more monsters, more shows than any other event here in Southern California. There's a lot of events vying for your, your Halloween dollar, and we try to offer not only the best value, but the best scare, because everything here is homegrown, it's terrifying, and you will not expect what's coming next. Now, you, you um, said it's a uh, good value. Yeah. How much is the season pass this year? Well, if you've got a Knott's Pass, you can get one right now for $70. $70 that allows you to come every night of Scary Farm. That's unbelievable. No blackout dates. No blackout dates. You come 10 times, that's $7 a visit. But, but the price goes up September 20th to $80. So even at $80, that is an incredible bargain for this much Halloween. It definitely is. What are some of the favorite shows here for uh, Not Scary Farm? There are two shows this year. Uh, we have The Hanging in Calico Square, which is our annual skewering of the pop culture icons. Uh, uh, the lawman shows up, and it's up to him and his hangman to find the people that have been the most obnoxious this year and destroy them, and then hang the worst of the year. And uh, they're doing something different this year where if you've got a smartphone, you'll be able to affect the outcome of the show. So I'm excited to see how that works out. And then right here in this theater where we're standing, Elvira's Asylum, the Mistress of the Dark herself is going to be here in a high-energy show with music and dancing and all kinds of surprises and... Elvira, an icon of Halloween. You can never go wrong with Elvira. No, Elvira no. and her beautiful dance skills. Absolutely. I always say uh, Christmas can keep Santa Claus, Easter can have the bunny, <laughs> Halloween is here and we'll take Elvira. <laughs> what are some of the new mazes that we can look forward to? Well, you've got the uh, My Bloody Clementine and the Mine Ride. That's the one I'm most looking forward to. Paranormal Incorporated, which is going to be great. And uh, they've, they've plussed a lot of the mazes, too. You've got Dead of Winter, which is brand new. But, like, Gunslinger's Grave has now got werewolves in it. And all of the mazes have been changed up just a little to make them a little better. So this year, they're just expect full surprises, right? Full surprises, nowhere to hide, and the greatest uh, Halloween uh, night you'll ever have. What's your or, or get a pass and come 10 nights. Why not? <laughs> What's your personal favorite? The one I'm looking forward to most is the mine ride because I grew up in Southern California and going on the mine ride and seeing monsters in it and being so amazed that there were live people in a ride. So the fact that it's coming back like that, I, I can't wait. So there's live talent. So people should be scared wherever oh, yeah. they're sitting at, right? They're oh, not yeah. just safe at one spot. No, no, no. There's talent all around. They're going to get you. Can you tell us where? Just so we Everywhere. know. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. They're everywhere. Well, thank you so much. We look forward to coming to this year. All right. Thank you. We'll see you in the fog.